One part C, we also start with the product rule for roots again, and we went over this in one part A, and we also talked about it in one part B. So, um, root of 16 times x minus 4 all to the power of 4 is in fact the same thing as root 16 times root of, and we break it up like this, x minus 4 to the power of 4, okay? And so now we have to figure out a couple of things. First of all, we've got to figure out the square root of 16. What's the square root of 16? Take your time. What number times itself gives you 16? What number multiplied by itself gives you 16? Would that be 4, right? <clears throat> and um, I just want to have fun with this because getting to root 16 and getting rid of this is actually very similar. I mean if you broke 16 up it is 4 times 4 but 4 broken up is 2 times 2 and then 2 times 2 again. So root 16 is in fact the square root of um, 2 times 2 times 2, four, you know 4 twos, right? And they can be broken up into and when we're getting the square root we want to break it up into um, groups of two. Okay, so we get root of two times two and then two times two. And so, you know, the square root of that is just one of these two times twos, which you get, of course, is four. Okay, so that's breaking it up with factoring. And that's the exact same thing that we need to do with the x minus four to the power of four, because you see that is, in fact, x minus four times itself one, two, three, four times, right? So there's four of them there, right? And when I get the square root, I want to um, say what times itself gives x minus 4 to the power of 4. In other words, I want to break it up into groups of 2. You see, here's one group, you see, and here's another one. See that? So the answer is actually um, x minus 4 times x minus 4, or x minus 4 all squared. Okay? So that's one way of looking at it. It's just like getting root uh, root 16, similar thing. The other way is, okay, if you're getting the um, second, we're actually getting the second root of x minus 4 to the power of 4. And you can use your rule for changing from uh, radical roots or radicals to rational exponents. This becomes x minus 4 to the power of this 4, this 4, divided by this 2 here. See that? Divided by that 2. And what's 4 divided by 2? 4 divided by 2 is 2, so the answer is x minus 4 all squared. Okay, So that's two ways of, of figuring this out. Right? So in any case the answer is 4 times x minus 4 all squared, and that's the answer to part 1c.